This is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, bringing you another Law of Attraction metaphysical lesson from the girl next door. Today I want to speak to you about the Law of Attraction limiting beliefs. I'll say that again. Law of Attraction limiting beliefs. By watching this video, I hope to prepare all of those entering the new year and get them ready to manifest all their dreams and even more. So stay tuned and watch this video to the end if you want to absorb all the information that I'm about to give you. Okay, limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs. Let's talk about that. I get a lot of people calling me. I mean, well, basically sending me emails and writing me on YouTube, asking me questions about problems that they're having, why things aren't manifesting in their lives. Um, and listen, I'm going to be honest with everyone. No one is perfect. There's things that I might do that may not come out the way I planned, but at the end, it always works out for the best. So we are all learners. We are all here living a life, trying to learn and, ma and master all that we need to do to, ma to have the greatest life that we can have while we're here. So don't feel alone. Don't, don't let yourself feel alone. Don't let yourself feel like everything is working for other people and not for you. Because me, myself, I go through trials and tribulations myself and I just ride it out and start all over again. If you're watching my videos and you've seen a lot of them, I told you so many stories that happened with me, but at the same time, I managed to ride out of it and continue. So this is a little bit of law of attraction life coaching for you guys today. I want to let you guys know that you can do it too, that you can manifest your dreams more than, more than what you believe. Why am I saying that? It's because we all have in us the ability to conquer and to reach heights that are unbelievable. It's up to us and our belief that will get us there. So now, let me just talk to you about goals, things that you're planning to do for this year and you just don't know where to start. Many of us want to do things. Many of us want to um, strive and reach for new heights. And then we always sidetrack or we stop or we delay or we do something to block ourselves from reaching the goals that we are out to, to do. What I'm trying to tell you is those are limiting beliefs. Deep down inside of you, there's a belief that says, I'm not good enough. It's not going to work. It's too difficult. I won't make it. Deep down. And that's where you need to start. For all of those people out there that's trying to manifest something in their lives, if you have that deep down, deep rooted belief that's saying the opposite, that's what you're going to manifest. I spoke to people before about manifesting, trying to be a deliberate creator, trying to manifest things and the opposite happening. That's because while you're trying to manifest, that deep inside rooted feeling is coming out and that's what's causing you to manifest the absolute opposite believe me it happened to me too i told you guys oh my god it happened to me about oh my god oh my god oh i can't even remember it was maybe like four or five years ago and i was trying to manifest some money and then all of a sudden i manifest the opposite and i was like oh my god what did i do but i knew deep down what i did so i just wrote it out and started over and everything worked out and that's what I'm telling you if you have a deep down belief a deep rooted belief that you are not good enough that you won't make it I'm asking you to work on that first um, Louise Hayes from Hay House have excellent books she has affirmations you can even look them up on YouTube or um, Google and you can get great affirmations to help yourself um, change the, the inner beliefs that you may have about yourself. I tell people to do mirror work that she speaks about. Going into the bathroom, looking at yourself every morning and looking in your eyes and saying, I love you. 
and forgiving yourself for anything that you have done in the past that may have not that that may not have been correct god is forgiving god is all love the only problem here is that we are not forgiving we are not and, and especially for our own selves we are not forgiving our own selves and that's causing the problem this is a new year listen let's all wipe away the slate forget all wrongdoings Forget everything that you have done wrong, and let's move forward with a clean slate. If you're trying to manifest that money, you're deserving of it. I'm deserving of it. We're deserving of it. There is no one out there that's better than you or I. So when you see people like Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, um, Steve Harvey, you know, <laughs> uh, Bill Gates, don't think they are different from us because they're not they just tapped into the universal law they absolutely realized who they were and made a bold decision to move forward and that's what I'm asking you guys to do for the year if that if there's a job out there that you want go for it don't let anyone tell you that you're not worthy of it don't let anyone tell you that you can't have it even if you don't get it, you tried, move on to the next. If your job don't appreciate you, stay there, but look for other avenues and then leave. We have, a, we have an opportunity to move in our lives and that's by making a choice. If you don't make a choice, you will never make a move. You will never improve your life. Life is nothing but choices. We either make a choice for the good or make a choice for the bad. And if you do make that choice for the bad, wipe it off and keep moving forward. Again, going back to the limiting beliefs, if you are, if you are suffering from depression or anxiety, do mirror work, do the affirmations. I am beautiful. I am deserving. I am worthy. I am worthy of all that God has for me. I am worthy of being loved. I am love, okay? And keep looking in yourself, looking at yourself in the mirror. Another thing, wake up and say, there's nothing stopping me from doing what I wanna do. There's nothing stopping me from reaching great heights. I can do whatever it is that I want and I'm starting right here, right now. And then make a plan. Visualize yourself having exactly what you want, not trying to get it, Visualize yourself having everything that you desire and don't take no for, no, no for an answer. I'm telling you, if you need to get that extra education, go out there and get it. Get a little more training, find a mentor, do whatever it is that you need to find and obtain to reach your goals. I'm telling people right now, there's people that write me and they say, um, well, Yvette, how can I manifest this without this? And I just look and I say, if you truly believe that you can do it, you can do it. But be careful. I wouldn't want you to manifest being a doctor and you have no idea what you're doing. Okay? You got to put the you got to put the legwork in. Please. If you're trying to get that job, go and ask for help. So for somebody to help train you or get the knowledge that you need to move up the ladder. If you're trying to get that house, straighten out that credit. Go house hunting. Look around. Have fun. For this year, I want everyone to let go of the past. I want everyone to know that you're deserving. Know that God is the only supplier that there is. And that God is all love. And God is rooting for you all the way. If there's something in your life that you're not getting, it's because of you. It's not because of me. It's not because of your mother, your father. No matter what situation you have been in, it's time to wipe the slate clean. If you need some counseling, counseling, go for help. If you need to work on yourself, work on yourself. There's um, hypnosis, there's psychiatry, there's psychologists, there's, you can, listen, you just have to work on yourself. And that's what I'm asking for each and every one of you for this year 
to get out there and go for your dreams. When you're using the law of attraction and you have limiting beliefs, you're not going to get too far. Let's be honest. Let's wake up. I don't care how many self-help books you read. I don't care how many seminars you go to or how many YouTube channels that you watch. If you're trying to manifest something and deep down you're denying it or you feel like you're unworthy, you're not going to manifest it. In fact, you can manifest the opposite. So for this year, let's work on ourselves first and then let's get out there and reach our dreams. Please get out there. If there's something that you want for this year, grab it, take it. It's yours. No one could stop you but you. This is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, bringing you another Law of Attraction metaphysical lesson. Today we spoke about the Law of Attraction, limiting beliefs. Get out there, go for yours. You deserve it, and it's yours. Namaste.